Hi, welcome to MWC Insider. I'm Sue Merrick, and today I'm here with Carolyn Chan of Intel and Chris McClellan of Dell. So Carolyn, can you tell us about the new fourth generation Intel Xeon processors with VRAN Boost? This is say, our latest offering and a Xeon uh, CPU with a very unique feature. We integrated the uh, acceleration for signal processing is specifically into the CPU itself. We call it VRAM Boost because it actually doubles the performance of virtualized RAM within the same power envelope. So it, it saves energy, increases performance, and significantly improves the ROI when an operator deploys VRAM, you know, LTE, uh, 5G, and even if we can integrate the earlier generation of uh, uh, wireless technology into the same system on chip. Oh, that's interesting. The imp uh, improving ROI is a key thing. Sustainability too, because we do dynamic power management. We have spe specific instruction set for AI, for machine learning, packet and signal processing. And the most important thing is we integrate the uh, acceleration, the right power acceleration directly on the chip. Right. Now, Chris, can you? Uh, how is Dell leveraging this technology that Carolyn just described in their new in your new server platforms? So Dell's very excited about the VRAM Boost technology, and we've optimized two platforms uh, to take advantage of it. We have the XR5610, which is designed for uh, highly optimized, highly dense, uh, uh, far edge compute for for RAM. Uh, which takes advantage of the Sapphire Rapids uh, uh, technologies. Everything Caroline mentioned from the acceleration built in to the optimized power, optimized I.O. Uh, and so that's for the far edge applications in a monolithic package. We also have the XR8000 uh, built for uh, highly flexible, highly modular uh, options from the edge to the local data center to the core. Uh, to run all the different types of applications, taking advantage of not only the VRAN boost, but everything else Intel has optimized within this Sapphire Rapids fourth generation. Great. Can you talk specifically about the roles of the Power Edge XR5610 and XR8000? Uh, with the 5610, uh, like I said, uh, a, a 1U uh, short depth edge optimized server for RAN workloads, uh, optimized for DU or uh, even CRAN, where CU and DU, where in the DU we take advantage of the VRAN boost to accelerate RAN workloads, uh, uh, providing many different options for the customer from IO perspective to uh, from rural to urban use cases to uh, optimize RAN. With the XR8000, uh, we've got, as you can see here, a very modular solution where anywhere from one to four nodes each node can be optimized for different workloads in the in the telecom stack. So you could have a DU workload, you could have a CU workload, you could have both combined, or you can even have a core, packet core uh, running on uh, different oh. node configurations. So highly flexible, highly modular, and multi-generational, right? Where uh, the chassis will, will survive multiple generations of uh, not only Dell servers, but Intel technology, and it's, it's a node upgrade uh, as we introduce new technology for not only improved performance over time, but for new use cases as, as they emerge. Great. This so, is really important, right? Because we never know as 5G evolves, right. what kind of world, people keep asking, well, what, how do you know what application is going to run? We don't. Right. That's why we make it so flexible. So you flexible. can make it up modular. Right. Right. modular. Yeah, replace, We're very excited about this, this platform. Now, Carolyn, what are some of the toughest challenges service providers face for their edge infrastructure? Uh, number one, I think we are trying to address that. Power consumption, yeah. clearly, within the same power envelope, you, you double the performance. That is a key element. Everybody talk about sustainability these days. That is a goal, not just for profit, it's really for mankind. So the fact that we're doing dynamic power management is a big, big move. And the other thing is flexibility that we talked about, application. You, don't, you need to run application securely. So I think with this uh, new release, I'm really excited because you're really addressing a lot of these issues that, that the edge yeah. uh, node is facing. Yeah. yeah, I agree. Power efficiency is, is a big concern of, of our customers and the operators. And with the VRAN Boost technology, we double performance uh, in the same power envelope for the, for the workloads 
the operators need to run. And from a server perspective, we've optimized uh, power uh, the, the thermal to take advantage of the power efficiency and direct uh, the, the cooling to where it's needed most, right? And that saves power at the server level uh, uh, to take advantage of what, yeah. uh, what Intel offers with their, with their low power states within the CPU. Power is a big topic here this week, isn't it's it? It's a very big topic. Yeah. So what types of challenges do Intel and Dell see for their solutions, like cost, climate, complexity, that type of thing? What are some challenges you're facing? I think you, you just hit it all. I mean, in this, uh, when we see the RFP coming out, the number one thing they're addressing is performance, energy saving, and one of the things I, I could not stress enough is the fact that we do dynamic power management. Because the workload is not equal, it's not running all the time, day to night, and, and depends on uh, when, what, what scenario we're facing. We're able to manage the power such that we take advantage of the, the peak performance. When a, we don't need that performance, we do able to power lower down. the power down. And that, that is in terms of uh, able to control the energy costs. It, it is really one of the best things we've done. And the fact that, you know, we, we talked about getting a VRAM boost in there, because connectivity becomes the backbone of everything we do in workload, in the edge. So you, and you, when you able to provide a connectivity like 5G, and able to enable all of the good things that comes with it, AI, machine learning, you know, all, all of the good stuff, we put that in the same system on chip, and Dell puts in the same package in such a module design, I think we're able to address many of the challenges you just mentioned. That's great. And I'd like to add to that, right, the, the, the uh, energy challenges of the operators are only going to get worse over time. Yep. Right? And so we've optimized these servers, uh, you know, not only to have a, a very uh, attractive entry point from a CapEx perspective, but the total cost of ownership over five, seven, 10 years of life in the field is truly optimized so that the operator is continuing to, to uh, leverage that investment they made in this technology. Great. Well, thank you both for joining me today. It was a pleasure speaking thank with you. you. Thank you. Thank you.